All right. Rough news for anyone trying to make it in the Bay, particularly those looking for a starter home in the Bay Area housing market. Here's why. Starter homes, meaning any home with a price in the 35th percentile of local homes, are still extremely pricey here in the Bay Area, and that's assuming you could actually find one. According to Redfin, you'll need a yearly income of nearly $300,000 to afford a starter home in San Jose, only a little less in San Francisco, and close to $200,000 a year in in Oakland. Uh, their numbers that put home ownership almost out of reach for most first time buyers, particularly young ones. I think that's a immense a lot of pressure, especially on Gen Zers. Um, we try to I don't even imagine I don't picture myself owning a home, you know, 40 years later down my life, you know, so it's just it's 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 a lot of pressure. I know some Gen Zers, some millennials have given up on, you know, ever thinking they'll have a home, a starter home, they'll be able to buy one. So it's, it's pretty rough. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, you know, you mentioned millennials. We just talked to a Gen Zer. There is nothing sadder for parents, right, than to think that your kids are going to grow up thinking, well, the Bay Area is nice, but I guess I can't live here. Mm -hmm. And that's really sad. We survive because young people start companies, start families, do things like that in a community. And our community is pricing these young people out. Mm -hmm. So we know that starter homes are pricey, um, have prices for more expensive homes risen as well? Yeah, you know, and that is common in just about anywhere in the country. The average price for homes is higher in all 50 states. Sure. And for expensive homes, yeah, there will always be people with money to buy those. Starter homes have always had an important part in our society mm -hmm. because it's how young people start their lives in a community, start their families in a community, and build wealth and equity in their home. But if you can't get in because the average starting home price in San Jose is $900,000, by the way, tops in the entire country, it really does price a lot of people out from starting that process of the American dream. And that's very dangerous for any community. And that's where our housing prices have gone mm -hmm. to the point where young people are just super intimidated, not just by that price or how much you'll have to make, but think of the down payment. Even on a $900,000 home, 20% sure. is mm -hmm. going to be what? 180 grand. That's a big check to write for a young person just trying sure. to get things started and maybe start a family. Yeah, there's a down payment. There are the expensive price tags and then there's also of course uh, the interest rates and people have been keeping a close eye on if the Fed will you know be cutting those rates soon. Right and it is likely that they will and we've already seen mortgage rates in the last year or so go from about seven and a half percent down lately below six and a half percent but in an area where prices are so high, mm -hmm. even that makes for a large monthly payment. And as interest rates get lower, mm -hmm. and it seems like that they will soon, okay. um, it's likely that mortgage rates will follow, and that's good news. And perhaps it's best news for people who are trying to get into the market for the first time because their monthly payments will be perhaps a little more feasible. But it's still hard when you look at the average price of what we call a starter home. Sure is what in any other state what would be a really expensive home. Mm -hmm. so, I yeah. know. All right. All right. Well, thank you for that update, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like the clarity. Appreciate it. You Thanks bet. so much. Sure.